Okay, good morning everyone. Welcome back for another vlog. We're going to the thrift store today. Gotta stay hydrated. But what's on the agenda? Uh, turn that up. It's pretty dark in here, so I apologize for that. Uh, I know sales are going to be down now for reselling. If you're a reseller, and follow me for that. Sales are going down. I have a couple sales this morning, but I'm not going to pack them up till tomorrow just because it, it's too early. I can't see anything. It's too dark. So let's get out there and let's go thrifting. This little sign came on, so I think that means low fluid. Uh, so I guess that's not actually for fluid. That's, I think, low tire pressure, and I think it's because it's so cold out that it's screwing everything up. That's what my guess is because I just went out there, checked all four tires, and they're, they're pumped up. Also, I have aftermarket tires on, so that's probably something screwed up there, but it is what it is. So finally used the first time, used the gift card uh, that I got for a holiday, so thank you for that, and uh, don't be done. So here's the electronics section of this place. Everyone keeps telling me, look at electronics, look at electronics. I know Bose speakers are very well, but you know, they're very hard to find. They got a printer, some monitors. I guess this is a bread maker or something, toast maker, bread maker. Not a very hot commodity. Got another one there. Some sort of heater, I guess. That's got the old. There's no name on it. These sometimes are good. Ten bucks for a broken PlayStation, looks like. It's pretty beat up. We're gonna go to the Way and Pay store, so maybe we'll find some brick rack there. Got a little cast iron skillet. This isn't old. It's got nothing on it, so it's probably like a decorative piece. Two bucks. It's a green tag, so it was put out today or yesterday. Hash trucks, eight dollars a piece. Plastic. This is uh, I've been trying to find this for under a dollar for like the last I don't even know how long. And over here you can see there's uh, more golf clubs. Ooh, might be a nice yardstick here. Yardsticks are very good if they have advertisement on them, especially like the really old ones. So this one, I don't want to get this because I have a guy who buys them if they have advertisement. So I might get that for sure. I think this is Hazel Atlas. I was saying something about like the vintage ones having advertisement.
right now we're in Savers. I've never been to Savers. It's the first time I've ever even walked into one. Sweaters depleted. Depleted central. I'm looking for sweatshirts. I'm always looking for sweatshirts. I think it's depleted. I do like this uh, hockey section. Hespler. Hockey gloves, another good commodity. I got four golf balls for two bucks. You got a golf cover head for five bucks. This must be a softball fungo bat. I honestly have never seen something like this. This is pretty sweet. That tape is really old on it. That's pretty cool, to be honest with you. Got a field hockey stick. All right, so what I like about the store is they have a active wear section. So here's a nice jersey, Georgetown, Nike, 649. It's a large, but I'm gonna have to think about this one. I don't think there's any, I'm gonna think about that one. Uh, all the sweatshirts were like $8, $9, $11, so that's out of my price range. And some people, you know, they only have a savers by them, or they say it's too pricey, or theirs is cheap, and, you know, every every store is different. All right, so welcome back for the recap for today's video. Now, one thing that people have been asking me is, what am I going to do for taxes when I do my reporting and stuff like that when tax season comes around? Well, I actually save all my receipts. As you can see up here, I have a couple receipts. Those I have to staple together, but I store all my, receipt, all my receipts in here. And that's how I do like my taxing. That's how I kind of do my taxes and figure out what I paid for stuff and what's a business expense. Obviously, buying clothes, all this stuff I resell. If you sell online, you have to report taxes. I'm not an accountant. I'm not going to tell you what you have to do and what you don't have to do in terms of, you know, um, what you can and what you can't report. But if I sell a T-shirt for ten bucks and I paid two dollars or three dollars for it, I have to report that I sold it for ten, but I paid three bucks for it. You have to save your receipts. Um, if you guys are just watching this and it's a new year, you're just starting out, maybe you didn't save your receipts for the last year, start saving your receipts. You're going to need to do that. It's another reason why I like to use my credit card a lot is because it always gives me a receipt. You know, when you pay cash somewhere, if you go to a thrift store, if you go to a flea market or something like that and try to buy stuff to resell it, you're paying cash. You have to kind of incur like, hey, look, I'm going to sell this for this. There's no way I can prove that I paid this amount of money for it. That's a negative side to paying cash for things and buying stuff at a flea market. Got to keep that into your profit margin ratio as well. If you're someone who's doing, if you're someone who's doing resale. Now, what I picked up here, I went to a bunch of different thrift stores. Salvation Army, Impact. I think I went to one Goodwill, and I went to my first ever Savers. Yes, I went to Savers, and I wasn't really that impressed. And the reason why I wasn't impressed is because I'm someone who likes to dig. I like to look for something. I'm looking. I like the dirty aspect. I like the unresearched. I don't like the nice fluorescent lights to clean, you know, aisle, clean aisles and stuff like that. I'm someone who likes to think of myself as a picker, who likes to go out and try to find something that might be hidden treasure that people don't really know about. It's unresearched, and Savers kind of give me that feel. Upscale Goodwill or like a TJ Maxx, uh, Marshalls, something like that. Now, if you guys are someone who just likes to shop, great place to go. I feel like you don't want to go to Salvation Army. It's not size oriented. It's color oriented. It's hard. It's going to be a lot harder to just uh, shop for yourself. But if you're somebody who's a reseller or somebody who's trying to find stuff and pick stuff and find that hidden gem, it might be a little bit more difficult to find that savers. That that's just my aspect of it. Now, you know, every savers could be different, but here we have what I picked up for today. We have some other brick rack stuff that I'll get into shortly. So we have a so we have a nice Star Trek sweatshirt, a nice filler sweatshirt. This is about a twelve or fifteen dollar sweatshirt. Good for any Trekkies. You have this Jansport vintage sweatshirt. Now, I was unsure about buying this because it's Jansport. It's like, who's going to want this? Now, if you're someone who just likes vintage apparel, awesome sweatshirt. Perfect colors, perfect sizing, perfect design. The logo's all there. Awesome sweatshirt. But it's Jansport. Like, it, it's, like if you were to wear a sweatshirt that just said Adidas on the front or Nike or North Face, you're buying a brand, but this is kind of like a lower-end brand. 
they aren't very, you know, they aren't well known. They're known for their backpacks and stuff like that. So, I don't know. I thought I was going to pick up. It was only three bucks. Not too bad. We have a nice vintage 94 World Cup USA t-shirt. Awesome graphic on the back. Lots of stuff is filler t-shirts. I'm going to go through it quick. We have Pitt, American University. We have a Leonard Skinner t-shirt. I've sold this one a bunch of times. It's not vintage. Ultimate Warrior. This is a nice vintage Bill Nova Wildcats t-shirt. Delaware. We have Temple. Westchester. A nice old school uh, Orlando Magic sweatshirt. Now this seems to be a very popular design that I've, I've come across. It always has the patch on the right side. Football tends to be some sort of conference on the right side. It just seems to be a very well-known sweatshirt. Iowa State, Loyola College, Dale Earnhardt Jr. I believe he is retiring shortly, so this might go up in value. Pink Floyd t-shirt, Phillies, Mitchell Ness t-shirt. Uh, this is Mike Schmidt. This is a Star Wars t-shirt, Washington Caps, some Philadelphia Phillies Taz t-shirt. All the Looney Tunes characters are very well, um, are very good sellers. Especially the sweatshirts and especially football. I've had a couple of Philadelphia Phillies ones. They have sold as well. Phillies are a tough team. I'm thinking maybe this year I might invest in Phillies apparel, hoping they have a good year because I come across so much of it, it's unreal. Uh, but they're just, they don't sell because it's the Phillies. Penn State jersey, another Temple University t shirt, vintage Mickey Mouse t shirt. I did have a vintage Mickey Mouse t shirt. I sold it online for $120 this year. Um, and I think I sold it too. I sold it too cheap. I put it on eBay. I think I put it at like 120 bucks or 110 bucks. It was 120 dollars. Yeah, because I sold it for 120. Probably sold it within like three or five minutes. And I was like, you know what? Probably sold it too cheap. So uh, vintage Mickey Mouse, especially the Man USA stuff, seems to sell very well. You have to have something in good condition. Advertisement always helps, but uh, don't think this is a good one. It's probably like a 10 or 15 dollar T-shirt. It was only. 50 cents since it was on sale, so not a bad buy there. Temple University again. We have more Phillies t-shirt. Phillies t-shirts, I'm looking to invest in this. This is going to be an investment. Probably a poor investment, but investment nonetheless. We have a 97 Phillies t-shirt, Yankees filler t-shirt, Slippery Rock, another Phillies, South Florida, and this nice vintage football jersey. Another opportunity I'm thinking about doing is buying a vintage Christmas advertisement or stuff like that. When I sold Christmas stuff this year at the flea market, it didn't do so well. So uh, I might just buy vintage Christmas stuff like this. And what people do is they stack them up. So they stack boxes up and they use it as decoration. It's very cheap. And uh, from what I've been able to see, people do pay about 2 or $3 at the market for this. You can buy this off season for like 10 or 20 cents a box. And uh, it's an easy, you know, easy flip. It's a small profit, but once you incur 10, 20, 50, 100 boxes, it is definitely worthwhile, I think. Um, and I come across this stuff so often at auctions, and it really just gets thrown away because it's Christmas, and no one really wants to buy Christmas stuff in March or April. We have a Pyrex lid here with a bunch of numbers. No idea what that's all about. I'll have to do a little bit more research on that. Looks to be a replacement lid of some sort. We have this as a Hazel Atlas advertisement mug. This is a unicorn style print. And for the people who've been following me for a while have seen that I picked up probably three or four other pieces like this. And that's all. I can't find this stuff anywhere. It seems to be a rare design, a sought, a sought after design. It's made by Federal. And uh, it's kind of like a rainbow color to it. A lot of people call it a unicorn print. We have a nice vintage snapback Minnesota Twins hat. This is a good sale come baseball season. And we have a nice vintage yardstick. My at the market always buys these for me. I usually pick them up. He's also another reseller, but he has a shop. And for that reason, I try to help him out rather than this stuff going to the landfill or whatnot. So that, that would be that. As you guys see, I have some investment opportunities. If you're curious about how I do my taxing, I do use TurboTax as well. Save all the receipts. It's going to help you out. Um, in the long run definitely for that hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video if you guys are interested in reselling thrifting or just treasure hunting in general make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and as always have a great day keep living the dream peace